Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about subtraction of fractions part 2. So I already have a previous video about subtraction of fractions part 1 as well as addition of fractions parts 1 and 2. So if you haven't watched them yet, I will just put the link of the videos on the description so you can check them first as well because everything that we've discussed there are also gonna be used in this topic. Okay? So in this video, we will just consider different cases when we are subtracting fractions. Okay? So let's say we have 2 minus 2 thirds. In this case, we are subtracting a fraction from a whole number. So how can we solve it? So remember, the whole number can be also written as a fraction having a denominator of always 1. So therefore, 2 can be written as 2 over 1 and then minus 2 thirds, right? So we can apply the concept here of subtraction of dissimilar fractions as what I've discussed on my subtraction of fractions part 1. So we will convert 2 over 1 and 2 thirds into equivalent fractions having the same denominator, which is the LCD of the denominators 1 and 3. So obviously, the LCD of 1 and 3 is 3, right? So if we try to transform them into equivalent fractions having denominator of 3, for 2 over 1, let's have the new denominator as 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 2 is 6. Minus, doing the same with 2 thirds, copy the new denominator of 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 time is 2 is 2. So that we now have subtraction of similar fractions having denominators of 3. So following the rules of subtraction of similar fractions, we simply subtract the numerator. So we have 6 minus 2 over the same denominator which is 3. So 6 minus 2 is 4 over 3. So as we can see, 4 over 3 is an improper fraction. We can convert this to mixed number by dividing 4 by 3. So 4 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, subtract 4 minus 3 is 1. So that 4 thirds is equivalent to 1 and 1 over 3. So therefore, the final answer is 1 and 1 third. Okay? Next, what if we have 1 and 3 fourths minus 1 fourth? Okay, so this time, we are subtracting a fraction from a mixed number. So how can we solve it? So the first step is that when we encounter a mixed number in subtraction of fraction, we can convert them into improper fraction. So let's transform 1 and 3 fourths to improper fraction. So applying what we've discussed on conversion of mixed number to improper fractions, we need to multiply the denominator 4 by 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Then add the product to the numerator 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So we have 7 over the same denominator of 4. So therefore, 1 and 3 fourths is equivalent to 7 over 4. So that we can subtract now 7 over 4 minus 1 fourth. So as we can see, this is subtraction of similar fractions because they have the same denominator of 4. So we simply subtract the numerator, so 7 minus 1, over the same denominator, which is 4. So 7 minus 1 is 6 over 4. So we have 6 over 4, but 6 over 4 is not yet in lowest term because 6 and 4 have still GCF of 2. So we divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF 2. So we have 6 divided by 2 is 3 over 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have 3 halves. So again, this is an improper fraction. We can convert it to mixed number by dividing 3 by 2. So 3 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have 1 and 1 over 2. So therefore, the final answer is 1 and 1 half. Okay? Next, let's subtract 3 minus 1 and 5 sixth minus 1 third. So as we can see, we have subtraction of whole number, mixed number, and a fraction. So applying what we've discussed on the previous example, so for the whole number first, we need to transform it into fraction having denominator of always 1, right? So 3 can be written as 3 over 1. Minus, this time for the mixed number, we can transform it into improper fraction first. So 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11. So we have 11 over 6. Then just copy minus 1 third. So as we can see, this is an example of subtraction of 
dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators of 1, 6, and 3. So, we can find the LCD first of 1, 6, and 3, and obviously, it is 6, right? So, transforming them into equivalent fractions having the same denominator of 3. So, let's start with 3 over 1. So, let's have its new denominator as the LCD 6. 6 divided by 1 is 6 times 3 is 18. Minus, for 11 over 6, we have new denominator of 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 11 is 11. Minus, for 1 third, new denominator 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1 is 2. So now, we can see that we are subtracting similar fractions. They already have the same denominators of 6. So we simply subtract the numerators 18 minus 11 minus 2. So 18 minus 11 minus 2 over the same denominator of 6. So subtract the numerator, we have 18 minus 11 minus 2 is 5 over denominator 6. So, since 5 over 6 is already in simplest form, the final answer is 5 over 6. Okay? Next, let's subtract 1 and 2 over 7 minus 1 and 3 over 7. So, again, since we have both mixed numbers, we can convert them first into improper fractions. So, converting 1 and 2, 7 into improper fraction, we have 7 times 1 is 7. Plus 2 is 9 over 7. Minus, doing the same with 1 and 3, 7. We have 7 times 1 is 7. Plus 3 is 10. So we have 10 over 7. So since we are subtracting similar fractions, having the same denominator of 7, we simply subtract the numerators. So 9 minus 10 over the same denominator of 7. So 9 minus 10 is negative 1 over 7. So, therefore, our final answer is negative 1 over 7, or the negative symbol can be put before the bar line, and then just copy 1 over 7. So, the final answer is negative 1 over 7. So, as we can see, we have a negative answer because we are subtracting a bigger fraction, which is 1 and 3 7, from a smaller fraction, which is 1 and 2 7. So, there can also be cases like that. Okay? Next, what if we have 2 and 1 fourth? Minus 1 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 six. Okay, so this time I combine the operation. We have subtraction and addition. But nevertheless, we still follow the same steps that we've done on the previous examples. So since the three fractions are all mixed numbers, we can transform them first into improper fractions. So for 2 and 1 fourth, we have 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So we have 9 over 4 minus for 1 and 2 thirds, we have 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 5 thirds plus for 1 and 1 six, we have 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 7 over 6. So since we have the similar fractions, we find first the LCD of 4, 3, and 6. So obviously the LCD is 12, right? So transforming 9 over 4 into a fraction having denominator of 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 9 is 27 minus for 5 thirds, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 5 is 20 plus for 7 over 6, we have 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 7 is 14. Now, since we have already similar fractions having the same denominators of 12, we can simply perform the operations on the numerator. So, we have 27 minus 20 plus 14 over the same denominator which is 12. So, we have 27 minus 20 is 7 plus 14 is 21 over the denominator 12. So, since 21 over 12 is not yet in lowest term, we still have a GCF of 3, right? So, we can divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF of 21 and 12, which is 3. So, 21 divided by 3 is 7 over 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, therefore, we have 7 over 4. But since 7 over 4 is an improper fraction, we can transform it into mixed number by dividing 7 by 4. So, 7 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract 7 minus 4 is 3. So, that 7 over 4 is equivalent to 1 and 3 over 4. 
So, the final answer is 1 and 3 fourths. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Subtraction of Fractions Part 2. So, I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.